Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Tremaine's the leader on the defense, along with Micah and Poyer. And, uh, you know, it sucks not having him out there. You know, he's always brings a lot of juice and energy. But A.J. is proven time and time again he's a great linebacker as well. And, uh, I mean, just coming starting Wednesday, he took over the meeting room and said the calls that we're going to make, make the checks. And, I mean, we have a lot of confidence in A.J. as well. He's a great player. He's been in this league for a long time. So, look forward to seeing him ball out there as well. To, to just a, you know, another year as the starter in, in, in this defense. Do you feel like this year is any different than previous years from how you played out there? No, uh, it's just football. I mean, I just it's just the game that I love. I, I don't even think about last year, to be honest, or the years before. And I'm just taking it one day at a time, as Poyer says, um, to come out here and just enjoy being a football player, enjoy playing with my teammates and the guys that I love out here. I love being out here and, and playing for those guys. So it's been a journey. And, I hope to continue to do it. What's your evaluation of how the defense has played throughout the first half of the season? Uh, I mean, we've had ups and downs, you know. Um, I think we'd all say that. We haven't done enough job of, or not a good enough job of taking the ball away. I think giving our offense more opportunities. Um, you know, our team goal is to have 10 touchdowns, and we've only got one with Micah. And so I think we'll continue to strive for that. When was that goal set? In the off season. You know, that's, uh, I think. Off-season. For sure, and I think it's, uh, you know, with, with Frazier leading the charge and being on that Bears defense way back when, um, you know, I think he, he holds us to a high standard and it makes us um, work harder and play harder too, so. Does he reference that defense often? Does that defense come up? Does he bring it up often? No, it's just like an understood thing, you know. It's just, that's, I mean, he, he talks a lot about technique and we kind of joke with him saying that you wasn't have any technique back then. You was just bigger and stronger and, it was a lot, le- a lot less rules back then with corners covering, and me and him and T.Y. always joke a lot, so it's always good times. Oh, we've seen it. You saw, I've seen the interception when he catches over the dude. It's an unbelievable interception. Look it up if you haven't seen it. I was going to say, have you actively gone back and looked for, for his film? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. He's, and I mean, a lot of people say, or a lot of people, T. White, he's like, yeah, Levi, you look like a little mini Frazier out there. So and I, tr- I try to Google him and see how he played, so it's, it's all good. Much come up. There's, there's a couple of videos out there. You'd be surprised. I mean, he's a great DB. Much uh, much credit to him. What have you seen from Mike White in the limited amount of time he's been on the field for the Jets and the challenge he presents? Yeah, he's an efficient quarterback. Um, he does a great job um, getting the ball out of his hands fast, making the right reads. Um, he's a great quarterback, and we look forward to the challenge this weekend. Um, and I think he, he plays with a lot of confidence. And so uh, it would be a great challenge for our defense this week. You've gone through a few of those matchups, like Tua got the ball out quick, Ben got the ball out quick. Um, what are the, the challenges for the secondary in that? Because it gives, obviously, logically less time for the pass rush to get back to the quarterback. Yeah, I think for us it's uh, disguise, mixing up our looks, um, and just knowing that we're, we're going against a good quarterback, so we got to bring our A game. Um, and make the corrections on the sideline that we need to make when facing somebody like this um, who can make all the throws. And like I said, he's a really efficient quarterback. So we look forward to the challenge. How challenging is it as well when you have a quarterback that gets the ball out quick to not fall prey to a double move behind you? It's difficult. And then, uh, you know, me and Trey, we're very aggressive corners. We like to break downhill fast. So, um, you know, just having that discipline and training our eyes this week has been very important for us. Um, to try not to fall on those. You know, it's a fine line playing cornerback with being aggressive and then being too aggressive. And uh, because, you know, we're always out there trying to make a play. Um, And sometimes we fall susceptible to those double moves. I know I have in the past a lot. So uh, worked at it a lot this week and and trying to improve each and every day. Frazier, what's the biggest impact that he's had on your career? Uh, I think he he does a great job in just cultivating the defense. And he's just, it's, it's a little bit different um, he played in the league, you know, and a lot of coaches haven't played in the league and know the experience. So he brings his experience and, and advice into us, especially being a DB. He's in the DB room a lot. And so it's helped me personally. And then he just believes in all his players. And um, you can just feel that from the sideline, just how confident he is in all of us. Thank you, guys.